journalists are always on the go. So when it comes to finding time to exercise and to stay healthy, it's especially hard when you're at a conference like NABJ. I spoke with NABJ founder Allison Davis about staying active and physically fit during the NABJ conference. I mean, I'm always in the gym, making sure that I am strengthening my body the way that, um, that I should in order to continue to keep the bones and the muscles um, that I was born with. is a possibility that you'll see me on, uh, at the 10K biking on Saturday. We caught up with the co-chairs of the 5K to find out why. We reached out to sponsors and we had a hard time connecting with one. So there wasn't one in 2016. Um, in 2017, we were kind of um, focusing on regrouping and saying, okay, how can we do this? How can we attract sponsors? Um, what's the way to do this in an organized way? Now that the 5K is back, the co-chairs are excited about the gifts they have for the first 450 people who crossed the finish line. We have um, a special medal based on Detroit. We received approval from Motown to have a um, similar type of um, logo and to kind of mimic Motown records. A charity of choice is J Shop. It's the whole idea of us being journalists and preparing budding journalists, um, folks looking to get into the business. So a portion of our proceeds will benefit our J Shop as we continue moving on to each city. This year for the 5K run walk, they're adding a 10K bike ride. Now this has been two years since they've had the event. The 5K walk run and the 10K bike ride is scheduled for Saturday, August 4th at 12 noon. You can sign up at nabjconvention.com. Tony Benton Jr. for NABJ News.